Hey, hey, good people. I hope all is well. Arthur Morris here. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at solving an equation of the uh, form x squared equals a using the square root property. So it says solve w squared equals 9, where w is a real number. All right, so we're looking for real number solutions here. And we have w squared equals 9. So we want to undo the square. So remember, uh, the square root of a squared equals a. So to undo this square, we have to take the square root of each side. But keep in mind, there are two real numbers uh, that we could square that will give us positive 9. So we have to look at the positive and negative case of that square root of 9. So I have w equals the square root of 9 or w equals negative times the square root of 9 which gives me w equals 3 or w equals negative 3. Now you'll see this answer written in a few different ways uh, in the, if you're using Alex it says to separate them with commas so negative 3, 3 uh, you also see that written as positive negative 3 so couple of different ways you can see that answer written but for uh, our homework system analysis this is how you would need to write it okay let's look at another one all right so this one we have x squared equals 121 so let's take the square root of each side consider the positive and negative case so x equals positive or negative 11 uh, or x equals negative 11, 11. Now, they did give you the option, if there is no solution, click on no solution. So remember, uh, to take the square root of a number, that number must be zero or greater than zero, greater than or equal to zero. So for example, if we had x squared equals negative 25, well, if I try to take the square root of each side, So I could not get a real number solution from the square root of negative 25. We can get an imaginary number solution, but not a real number solution. So for this, that's where I would click on the no solution if I had a problem like that. Alrighty, I hope you found this um, video to be helpful. Thank you.